We are halfway through the January transfer window and there is so much we still want to do to this squad. Let's get into episode seven and see. I, I am interested to see what our side looks like at the end of today's episode. I almost can't believe I'm saying this, but we have won two Premier League games in a row. I know it's, it's shocking information, but... Can we make it three? Can we really get this season flowing nicely? So this is the starting 11. And the thing that I'm excited about for this game is the debut, my personal debut of using Marcelo in this team. Will he be an impact signing for us or will I live to regret it? Hopefully the first option is what happens. And here is a look at the Newcastle United side. Have they used any of their Saudi Arabian money? They've got Nunes in there. Ryan Fraser playing center back is weird to me. Why is Ryan Fraser playing center back for Newcastle? Isn't he like a left midfielder or a right midfielder? But regardless, it is a good side as a whole. They've got Bakambu on the bench as well. Marcelo going there to Calvin Phillips. Phillips is running up the middle here. I'm trying to see, yeah, make that run off. Make that run off. Go. No, why? Yes, go. No, why? Go. Oh, my God. I don't know why I held it up so long. I feel like I was like half delayed with that. I could have made that so much smoother than it was. Got the corner, though, lads. Come on. Let's shake off the cobwebs and get our... Oh, my God. Icardi's going for the bicycle. Oh, my God. That was going for a goal kick. And then Nunez just been like, where's it going? It's just pinged off his head. So we have another corner. Let's make Nunez's stuff up our gain. Swinging it in. Get your header on it. Rodrigo straight into the keeper's gloves. Wilson on the attack here. Got to defend. Got to defend. Marcelo, show us what you're made of. Up against Kieran Trippier. That's good for Marcelo. That is good so far. Come on, let's get something on the counter. Rodrigo. Going to feed it through to Mauro Akadi. Why is Ryan Fraser in that position? Akadi hits it early. Follow up. Get the follow up. No. I probably should have taken more of a touch, man. Oh, my God. I've just been I've just been absolutely put on a spit there from St. Maximin. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't know how they didn't score. I almost accepted my fate there. Jesus Christ. Come on. Counter-attack in time, please. Feed it early here. It's Mauro Icardi. I see Harrison. Let's put it in there for Harrison. No. Feed it in early. Go on. Rodrigo on the angle. Oh my god. He almost squeezed it in. But everybody's just running into everybody. It's a corner here just before halftime for Newcastle United. Ryan Fraser swinging that one in. We need to win the header. And they put it over. Well, we're in the uh, four and a half minute or the fifth minute of two minute stoppage time. This has pain in the ass written all over it. Oh. <laughs> Oh my God, please just get rid of it and call half time. Please just get rid of it and call half time. Please, 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 please get rid of it and call half time. Call half time, half time called. <laughs> Don't let St. Saint Maximin looks like he's about to just absolutely ruin my day. St. Maximin, just defending. Can I have a second help, please? Can I have some help? Can I have some help? Can I have some help? Can I, no, no. Oh, you just knew that was coming. Fucking hell, skilly players. I hate versing players that are agile. Fuck! What am I doing there? That's just such bad, what am I doing? What am I doing? Fucking hell, man. Can I ever make a clean tackle? Marcelo up against Kieran Trippier. They have the shot and force the save from Melier. We need to get our attacking spark back. Rodrigo coming off, Daniel James coming on. It is a corner here though for Newcastle United. They've looked dangerous every time. Please don't play it along the ground to St. Maximin. I'm so sick of St. Maximin. He has been so hard to defend in this game. Puts it in the middle there. They're passing it around. It's gone to Nunes. What an interception from Adebayo, but still they have the ball. How is the center back doing skills like that? How is the center back holding it up like he's bloody Cristiano Ronaldo? Oh, and how have I just been skilled by a center back? Get rid of it. How have they, how, 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 how? How am I meant to stop that? How am I meant to stop that? Fuck off John Joe Shelby, you Voldemort looking wanker. How am I meant to stop that? Oh, I'm so sick of this. Why is this, where has this tackling been all day? That was a great tackle there. We've been missing that. James, just running through here. James, did that take a deflection? No, what? Oh. Nah, like, I'm not even defending that. I can't control all 11 players at once. Why does the AI just turn into full dickhead mode when I'm not controlling them? Like, you don't control, I'm not controlling Marcelo and all of a sudden Bruno Guadamarez just decides that he's able to get on the inside shoulder of him. I am so annoyed with that. Where is the accountability for the defenders? James, come on. Are we going to be able to get a consolation? We've looked so shit in this second half, man. Oh, what's this? 
I've just lost my head, man. The first half, we were attacking so good. And that just shows we had all those opportunities to begin the first half. And I didn't capitalize on them. Newcastle United dominate the second half, capitalize on their opportunities, and they go and win 3-0. We're just not good. And losing that game makes it even worse because Burnley dropped points again. We could have been, if we got a win there, we could have been six points clear of the relegation zone. We are fully focused on the transfer window though for the remainder of like the, until our next game, we're just locked in on the transfer window. I want offers for Junior Firpo and Diego Llorente, please. I didn't say Calvin Phillips, FIFA gods. There is no way in the world that I'm selling Calvin Phillips that so we're going to reject that one there from Tottenham. And we've only got a few days remaining and it's been absolutely dead silent on those two guys. And here we are, transfer deadline day. I've got 18 million pounds to spend and I'm not going to let it go empty so if we get to maybe the five hour mark and none of our players have sold then I'm just going to go and spend that money as it is all right 10 to 9 is there going to be anything here in the nine hour range nope 9 to 8 can I get an offer Furpo or Urente please nope to the seventh hour we go any offer any offer if not I might just go oh we got an offer it's for Urente there is hope there is hope. 13.3 million pounds. You know what? We will accept that. Is Urente going to be sold? Hopefully he accepts the contract straight away. No, come on. Fifth hour. Please just accept the Frankfurt contract and get the money into the club. Diego Urente is gone. He's headed to the reigning Europa League champions, Frankfurt. So now we're going to have to go and spend some money on getting... I reckon I'll go for a new center back. You know what? I'm actually going to change the formation here. We've changed it to a 4-2-3-1. I need to learn how to defend. And I feel like if we can get... Because we haven't been making many attacking opportunities besides on the counter-attack. I want to be able to control football a bit more, so I think I might go for a defensive midfielder to team up with Calvin Phillips. All right, so I've got three defensive midfielders here, all 24 years of age and all quality offers. Edson Alvarez, Ibrahim Sangare, and Kaidi Barre, or Kaidi Bear. I think Sangare is going to be a little bit out of our price range, but I'll keep him just in case. Alvarez we can definitely afford and Bar we can definitely afford or Bear. I'm going to try out here for the Albanian defensive midfielder Kaidi Bear first, see if we can sign him. The thing I'm hopeful about as well is if we can get him on a decent deal, we might be able to go get somebody else for the bench as well. So I'm going to chuck in a 20 million pound here for the Albanian. We can afford that, but I don't want to spend that much money on him because I can get... I know I can get Alvarez for cheaper. Let's say 22.5 million pounds. They say 26. I'm going to say... 23 come on accept it accept it they accept it 23 million pounds for the albanian that's good now i don't want to be racing against the clock i'm going to go straight in here and try getting the contract sorted here for the albanian defensive midfielder bar or bear i'm going to call i'm just going to go with bear and if i am corrected then i will figure that out from there but we're going to offer him a crucial first team yep four years is sweet by me uh, no release clause wanted. Okay, let me fix this up a little bit because I want to have money for other players. Are they going to accept this? For Bear, £50,000 a week. You know what? We can live with that. Welcome to Leeds United, Kaidi Bear. Not going to lie, lads. I'd never heard of this guy until we've signed him now, but hopefully he can become a hero at Leeds United. We need that grunt and aggression in the midfield. Kaidi Bear. Welcome to Leeds. And that means that we have about £7 million to spend here with a couple hours remaining on deadline day. So let's go get a young player for the reserves, I think. I think that would be smartest. Cole Palmer's a young Englishman that can fill multiple parts of the squad for us. Young player. Let's go see if we can bring him to Leeds. Hopefully Pep's a kind man here and can... Uh, Agree with something on the lower end of the spectrum because, I mean, if we can get him in for a decent price, we might be able to get another young player into the squad or I could use that money for contracts or a youth academy. But 3.55, Pep Guardiola, you are a nice man. Same deal with the Albanian defender bear or defensive midfielder bear. We're going to go right in here and see if we can get the deal done on the spot whilst we still have time. Five-year deal. Awesome, mate. Awesome, awesome, awesome. No release clause. Perfect. I hate release clauses unless I'm benefiting from them. I can deal with those wages. Cole Palmer, welcome to Leeds. Let's go. It has been a productive deadline day so far. The second signing in the same hour. Cole Palmer, welcome to Leeds. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate a couple hours and see if we can get any offers in for Junior Furpo. If we can, we'll have some more money to work with, etc., etc., if not, I might just go and get some more younger players or even set up a youth academy. We've got a few offers in here. Stuart McKinstry. Never heard of I've never used this guy, but I'm going to reject that one. And then Rodrigo 
Not going to accept one for him. He's a crucial part of the squad. Rejected. Transfer offer for Pascal Strick. That one is going to be rejected as well. Two hours. It's the final window. Final hour of the window. If there's no offers here, I might just spend the money itself. There has. It's for Struick. You guys know we're rejecting that one. All right. So we've had, we've got 3.5 million pounds remaining. I'm going to set up, they use that for the Youth Academy lads and set it up. So we've got a good, wow, I've got a really good scout. Okay. I want you guys in the comment section. Let me know where we should start scouting. But that is the January transfer window done and dusted. Do we have enough to survive relegation in the Premier League? But this is what the team is looking like now. Starting 11 is looking a lot stronger with this formation, if you ask me. But I'm hopeful, I don't know, man. I'm hopeful that we can survive. I'm praying, man. We have to. It's all up to us, though. I don't understand why they come in with transfer offers six days after the window. I don't, even if I want to sell a player, even if an offer comes in for Junior Firpo, in this half, after the January transfer window, I'm not accepting any of that because I want the money to come in next year. We played against Aston Villa in the last episode, so for this episode, I am going to simulate it, but it is a pretty crucial game. Three points behind them on the table. They had our number barely in the last episode. Quick simming here on the road at Villa Park, and we have their number this time. It is Rodrigo and Daniel James getting the goals there. You love to see it. Furpo with a red card. That's fine. I don't plan on starting him next to the game anyways. But I will get involved for this game. We are headed up north to Liverpool, taking on Everton at Goodison Park. Have Everton done any notable work in this January transfer window? No, Nathan Patterson's in there. Nothing as of yet standing out. Alan Deli Alley in there. No Donny van der Beek. Awobi Gray and Alexander Isak. Oh dear. I mean, I'm glad Richarlison's not there, but Isak is a nightmare to defend, especially off corners. I am scared though. Four at the back formation. I'm interested to see if me playing on ultimate difficulty for the most like recent few weeks has helped us at all and if I'm going to be able to handle it. I'm also very excited to see how Bear can go in my official debut using him. Nice overlapping run from Marcelo. I'm going to hold it up and go back to Harrison. We've got some options in the middle here. Harrison through... Phillips, oh, it falls out, Rafinha, Rafinha scores, but he's offside, oh my god, okay, we can stop celebrating, I know we're offside, at least, the, the, the positive sign is we have so many more attacking options playing a four at the back, there we go, Rafinha, bit of space for him, screw it, I'm just gonna go, Rafinha, I should have played it through, I'm a dickhead, like, I should have played it through to Akadi. got the corner though, Let's see if we can make up for it. Akadi, Akadi, no, get to it, James. Going out there to Struik. Not the man you necessarily want, but it is going to be Rafinha. Going to James, back to Rafinha. That is brilliant. Oh. Come on, James, on the counter here. Going to go there. I want to go to Calvin Phillips. Let's put it through to Rafinha. That's brilliant footy. Rafinha, green beam. He gets his goal. Rafinha deserves it, and we have come out of the gates absolutely firing here at Goodison Park. So far, I don't want to jinx it, touch wood, but I am loving playing a four at the back formation again. Nice. Some good footy being played from us, lads. We're really controlling the tempo of the game. Let's see if we can get something to go here. We got lucky there. That was a terrible pass, but it's come through to Harrison. Marcelo. Marcelo. Going back. Going. Oh, what a save. Jordan Pickford. The follow-up. That's why I hung back. I feel so smart right now, lads. I saw it come off the crossbar. I was tempted to go in there and rush the ball. I, was, I hung back, and that is exactly why. I don't know how Pickford saved that, but that's come off the crossbar. And James is going to make it 2-0. Did he hit Pickford? Yeah, he just hit that in the back of Pickford there. 2-0. We are playing some of our best footy yet. Oh, no. I've, I've misread that one horribly. Do not let them get back into this one, lads. Do not let them get back into this one. Do not defend. No. Oh, just get... No. Oh, my... Oh, my Jesus. Come on, counterattack, please. Feed it. Down the line here. A Cardi. Cardi B. Go in here. Go. Feed it to James. James. Oh, it's three. The counter attack. We're three nil up. Oh my God. Have we turned the corner? 
in this career mode. Lads, we have got just under 20 minutes to hold on and get our first clean sheet of the season. I am going to sub off Akadi, who is absolutely knackered. Rodrigo's coming on, but I'm going to put Daniel James up to striker. They're bringing on Calvert-Lewin, jeez. No, look at all the numbers Everton are committing forward. Do not let them get a goal. I want this clean sheet. Yes, no. Oh my God, just defend. Deli Alley, don't let Deli Alley be the man that does it. Deli Alley, no, no, that's so bad defensively. Oh my God, I just want to keep a clean sheet. Why are you celebrating like that when you're 3-1 down, dickhead? I really thought that was going to be the game. We got our first clean sheet, but it is what it is. We still have our best performance that we've played this season. 3-1 win against Everton on the road. And I seriously feel like we have turned the corner with this team. 13 games remain in the Premier League season. A few more episodes in season number one. Stick around, lads. It's going to be an absolute wild one.